Okay, good morning everyone. Here is Miss Nura. I miss all of you. Today we're gonna start something new. We will go building the listen understanding area. Here is lesson three, week nine, it's Monday. Today we will uh, cover the pages uh, in the textbooks 427, 430, and the homework 175, 176. So let's just start now and take a look about the area, what the area means. Before we start, we have to discuss our objectives. Our objective today is understanding area and find the area of a simple shapes. So what the meaning of the area we have to discover today and how to find an area for simple shapes. Our essential question, what is the area? Area is the number of square units. Of square units, you have to con consider about this one, square units. Need it. Yes, units needed to cover the region. We will have to focus about these. Word, area, graph, paper, and square units. You remember when I'm finding the perimeter, I'm using unit like centimeter, meter, but for area, I will find the square unit. Let's go now. Yes, here is Mr. One, our friend, will tell us something about the area and what is area. Here is, we have a floor for his house. His friend asked him what about playing bouncing ball on this uh on this floor but he's using a bowling balls so all the floor broken so we will change the four tiles and we will look for this square here is we have a square we call it a square unit. What is square unit? Square unit has a width and the length. We need the measurement of the area inside. Yes. This is square is measured by one centimeter. So the area of this square is one square centimeter. One square centimeter. So centimeter could be changed like I can make it meter or feet or miles or any unit. Here is we have a rectangle. We have to find the length and the width. I count here I have two square and here I have three squares. So the area means all the squares inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have the total area here is six square units. Yes, so if I want to find the area, there is another easy way. It's just to find the formula for the area. That means the formula said that if I want to find the area, which is A, it's length, which is 3, multiply the width, which is W. So again, the formula for area is L multiply W. So the L is a 3, and the W is 2, 3 times 2, 
Yeah, it's a six. And our answer is right because when I count all the squares, all of them are six. So if I have a rectangle but without a lines to show how many squares inside it, I just have the length and I have the width. So how I find the area is just using the formula. So area equals L multiplied W. L is seven times four. What the number? What the answer? It has 28. 28 square unit. You have to focus on the square unit when you want to find the area. So it is the floor that we want to fix. So we have to know how many square for the link so count one two three four five six seven so seven for the link how many for the width one two three four five so area is l times w which is seven times five the answer would be yes remember multiplication excellent it will be 35 square unit it's so important to say square unit why because i want to the definite between the area and the parameter so again i have a grid paper here is santa claus to us the area of a sh shape is amount of a space inside Remember the parameter say that it's about the outside lines, but here is an area I have to find the shape inside. So here is we have this is composite shape. To find out how much shape is inside, you can count the squares. So let's count the squares together. One. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So the area of this shape is eighteen square centimeter. Square centimeter. And I write it in this way. Centimeter and over it I write it two. Okay? So how I read it? square centimeter square centimeter let's see this shape counting each square can take a long time does anyone know any quicker way yes remember what mr once tell us that to find the area there is a formula what is the formula yes the formula is a equal L times W. So I have to find the length and the width and multiply it together. So here is the length, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the width 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is 6. So the answer is 6 rows multiply of 8 squares the answer would be yes 48 square centimeter so again i'm just counting the first line this is the length and the first it is i count the row and i count the column and then i multiply together here is eight times six equals 48 now let's see now this is example what is the area of each day shape your teacher will give you copy yes so let's see here about this one two three four five five times one two three four five times four twenty cent square centimeter yes here is three times one two three four five six 6 times 3, 18. And here is 
14. I'm just the multiply the two links and width. And here is 30, the last one, 21, because each one is 11, and we have two rows, so 11 times 2 is 22 square centimeter. Now, you can work out of the area of a rectangle without the grid. What the grid picture here is the squared paper. So there is no squared paper. How do you find it? Yes, I have the formula links times the width. So the area is L times W. Like here, 4 times 9, it will be 36 square centimeter. 7 times 5, yes, remember multiplication. Excellent, 35 square centimeter. 5 times 4, excellent, 20 square centimeter. Now here is a 12 times 2, 0.5 times 2. Yes, I'm just adding the double it. 20, 4 for 12, and the double of a half, 25 square centimeter. Now this is your book. The first question, they said find the area of each figure and write the answer in the square unit. So I bring my pen. Okay, so remember when I want to find the area, I have to count inside. So it will take for me a long time to find, to count all of these inside. So I have to count first the first row here and the first column here. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, it's 10. Only feature if I have rectangle or a square, I make the same. Okay, now here, 1, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes, 10 times 7. Remember the answer? Excellent, it's 70. Perfect. Now, here I don't have a rectangle, so I have to count all the squares inside. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So the answer here is the 27 square unit. Here I can make it easy like a drawing two rectangles. I count here the first one, two, three. And here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three times seven for first area. Yes, it's a 21. And for this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here is three. The answer also 21. 21 plus 21, excellent, the answer is 42 square units. Let's go to the next. Now here is, you have to match each figure with the area. So I have to count and find out how many square I have, three plus a three, excellent, it's it is how many, what the area is? Excellent, four square units. Here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four times three. Perfect, it's a 12. You have to revise your multiplication to make it fast. Yes, here is I have to find the area and count the squares. Let's do number one. 
here is one one two three four five six seven eight Teacher, all the time, make a mark that you count the square. It could not be mistaken. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three times four. Yes, it's a twelve. Perfect. It is just counting. Maybe count one, two, three, four, five. Five times two, it's ten. Ten plus two is twelve. All the time you have to think mentally, okay? Now here is one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just counting inside for the composite shape. Now here is the problem solving. See, Julian has a photo. Its shape is shown in the grid. Find the area of this photo in a square unit. So, I have to find the area which is inside. I have to count the length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The width. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, so I said that area is for the rectangle and the square is L times W. Let's make again area is what is L? 7 times 5. The answer is 35 square. unit. You have to write the square unit. Okay? Now, Hunter says, I can draw two different rectangles with areas of 18 square units. Can you draw different rectangle on the grid? Teacher, let's call back the multiplication give me two numbers if you multiply it together it will be 18. yes i have 18. two numbers equal 18 if you multiply it together perfect nine multiply two another one Excellent. 18 also is 6 times 3. Perfect. So here is my first rectangle. This is the other rectangle. Here is I need 9 multiplies 2 or 2 multiplies 9 as you want. So I have to find this is 2. Okay. And they count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is the first, sorry for the zigzag line. This is the first rectangle. Now I want three multiply six or six multiply three. I have to find the three here. And six down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is the other rectangle. So 
Is he correct? Yes, we can draw two different rectangles with 18 square units. With 18 square units. Now, so let's say the area of a shaded figure is 16 square units. Do you agree with him? Let's see. I want to count here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So he is not right. It's 17 square minutes. Now I have two blanks. Uh, something is a square with side the length of a unit each. Yes, what do I use for this area unit? Did I use unit or square unit? Excellent, it's a square unit. Let's take a brief look about your homework. Here is in this homework, you have to count the shape and find out where is the area. So it's just counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, where is eight, and then I match. So your job is just counting and you match to the answer. Okay, this is the composite shape. If you have a rectangle or a square, you can count only the first row and again the first column and multiply together and you can find the answer. It is complete the table for this. Each square has an area of a square unit. So here is the first square, number one. You have to write the area. And here is number two, and here is number three. For this, instead of counting all the squares inside, we have to count one, one, two, three, four. So the length is four. One, two, three, four. Four by four, it will be eight square unit. For here, make it easier for you. Find this rectangle first and then this rectangle then you add the areas together this is a rectangle and you have to count the first row and the first column multiply together and find the answer in the square unit here is find the area I'm just counting the squares inside for example number one one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it is I have a twelve square unit. Let's see next. It is a problem solving circle. Two figures on the right that form the first figure find the area of the combined figure. Yes. Which figure, if I put it together, it will be this one. If I put this one together, can I make this shape? Yes, excellent. So here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, so the area is a 12. To check my answer, I have to count the square here. To you know this is square, it's the same number of these square. So this is the lesson for today. In this lesson, I covered the area, the area for the composite shape, for a grid paper. If you have a shape drawn on a grid paper, and for a rectangle, 
on four square we use formulas to make it your easy to find instead of counting all these numbers of square you have to remember in the area i'm using square unit for example square centimeter square meter i'm not using unit i'm using square unit so this is about the lesson today. Please, teacher, you have to do your homework, show it to me, and study daily, okay? And love you all, and I'll miss you. I, um, I can't wait to see you again, sweetie. So see you later. Happy be and bye-bye.